This is a Permobil C300 front wheel drive power chair. Beautiful blue color. Uh, this power chair here only has seven miles on it. So it's practically brand new like a lot of my power chairs. Seven miles, fully loaded. It has the eight inch seat lift, the electric tilt, the electric recline, the electric legs. It has gel arms. It has all kinds of features which we'll cover as we go along. All the function, the seat lift, the tilt, the recline, the legs, all of them can be worked through the switch, through the switch box back here or through the joystick. I'm going to do it through the switch box. So you can see the first one is the seat lift. So if I push this button here, the seat lift will start going up. And this is the 8 inch seat lift going up. So you're going to be about 22 when you're down at 8 inches. You'll be at 30 inches when you're all the way up. So this is the 8 inch seat lift. You can see how quiet that is. You can hear the air condition, but you can't hear the chair. Uh, so I'm going to turn the, I'm going to put it back into drive. So this chair will drive with the seat elevator. Now I don't like driving these chairs, this type of seat lift with the seat elevator if you don't have to. Unless you're on a flat surface and you're careful. I don't like all the, but it's made to be driven, but I would be careful depending on your height and weight. Let's talk about the base. So we've got the seat elevator right now to 8 inches. We've got solid 14 inch wheels up with aluminum rims, nice matching hubcaps to the color of the chair. You've got great suspension. You can see the suspension when I'm pulling the chair down, you can see the suspension squeezing. You can turn that suspension to make it tighter if you want. You've got an anchor point here, so if you need to tie your chair to your lift, you can tie it here. You can also tie it in the front. You've got two on each side. So this chair can be secured to your lift with no problem. Now on this C300, this is called a front wheel drive, meaning there's no wheels on the ground here. This is only a tip wheel. This is really good for outside because if you have a chair that weighs, like this chair weighs 400 pounds, and you have a 300 pound user, that's 700 pounds of transferred weight onto your wheel, so it gives you good traction in the grass or wherever you're using it. So I like these types of chairs if you're going to use it more outside. They don't turn nearly as good in the house, but they do turn good. But uh, if you want a little bit of boat for outside and inside, this would be a good one. Now, if you ever have to push this chair, you can't push it because it's in gear. You would turn the power off, and you have a lever right here. And it tells you on the lever, pull out and pull towards you and out, and now you're in neutral. Remember, this chair weighs 400 pounds, so it's not an easy chair to push. By, by pulling this lever out, uh, you can put both wheels in neutral boat because there's a motor for each side. Back in, and you're back in gear. Turn the power back on. If you leave the power on, when you're trying to push it in neutral, you'll have some resistance. The electricity in the motor will resist. So this is your 8-inch seat lift. The next, the next option is going to be the electric tilt. So this is your electric tilt going back. That's the bottom tilting back and you see the whole seat tilts back. There's also a swing away joystick on here. So this joystick can swing away out of the way. We can put the joystick on the left or on the right with no problem at all. That noise you heard, that was me touching the joystick. So this is your full electric tilt right there. I'm gonna bring it back down. Whoop. Wow, this chair drives with the seat tilted, that's amazing. All right, so I'm gonna bring the tilt back. I don't know anybody would want to drive the chair tilted like that, but it, it, it does move. I'm gonna bring the tilt back down. Now, if you wanted to be tilted and you wanted your legs higher than your body, you could just leave your seat halfway tilted and raise your legs up, and you would have your legs higher than your body if you need circulation. Uh, you know, you don't have to be tilted this far back. But I'm raising the legs, and the legs can go up on their own. You don't have to be tilted. So that's your legs, and then you can bring you can bring the tilt. Sorry, you can bring the tilt back to whatever level you want. So I'm going to bring it all the way back down. Then I'm going to show you about the electric recline that this chair has. So now we've got the seat all the way down. And the next thing, the third button on the sequence here is the electric tilt. This is just the back going back. So now we've got the electric tilt going. The electric the electric recline going back. These are gel arms. You can watch me push on here. This is gel right here. All filled with gel. Very nice. 16 inch gel arms. 
So if you're looking at this chair right now, this would be you'd be fully reclined, your legs up in the air, laying flat. This would be your total flat position. So at your recline and your legs. Now, as I said, you can do any function you want, any degree you want, any position you want. It's really up to you. If you're outside, always make sure you leave your legs at least this far out. Give you a little more room under your legs when you're outside. All right, I'm going to turn the chair around. Now, if you're exiting the chair, of course, you don't want these legs to be like that. You'd want the legs all the way under the chair. So the last button on here is the legs. So you would retract the legs all the way under your seat like this. And then you would flip your legs up. Now, these foot blades can also come out even more. If we move these pads back a little bit, these foot blades will be almost flush with the seat right now. So don't let this bother you because this foot blade can go back by moving these pads back a little bit. Whoever had this chair had it set up that way. So you want to make sure your legs are out. Right now, the chair is set up for about a person six foot one, six foot two. But I can adjust these legs. We can adjust the height. We can bring these legs all the way up to here if we have to. The seat on this chair, I have not measured it yet, but I think it's about 20. This seat is 20 inches wide by 22 deep. So now, this is a deep seat. So this chair right now is set up for a person six foot two. It's 22 deep, 20 wide, leather seat, leather back, gel arms that flip up on both sides. And you also have grab bars here. So if you need to exit the chair, this chair is set up with grab bars. These are custom and they're on here. We'll leave them on here for you guys. It has a safety belt. The safety belt does have a little bit of fray on it. That's not from usage, that's from dragging on the ground and shipping. I'm not going to replace this because it's not going to affect the safety belt, so it's going to stay like that. Most people don't use their safety belt anyway. So the only reason there's a little wear on that is from dragging on the ground and shipping. The back of the chair, on the back of the chair, we've got an attendant control. So what that means is you can drive this chair from here by switching the modes to, so if I wanted to drive right now, uh, oh, I gotta switch it back to, uh, switch it back to drive. So now, all right, so we have a little issue here. I was trying to drive the chair from here, and the only thing it's doing right now, it's raising the seat, so I can raise all the function. I have to program this chair, so if I wanna know this, I would've programmed it before I did the video. But if you buy this chair, this will be working. This would, I just need to, I need to program it with my computer. But you can drive the chair from here and do all this lifting like I'm doing right now, I'm lifting the seat up in the air. Uh, but I have to program it so it would drive from back here also. Back behind here also, you've got these cylinders. This is when I adjust the tilt on your arm. So these arms can be tilted up any position you want by turning these cylinders right here. This one and this one for the left arm. Back over here, all the way down over here, you've got a power button right in here. When we ship these chairs, we turn the power off. So you go in here, turn your power back on. These lights are just reflectors. A lot of people call me and tell me the lights don't work. Well, that's because they're reflectors, they're not lights. This chair does not have light, it just has reflectors. You have an adjustable headrest that can be adjusted. You have hooks if you want to carry a bag back here. You have two hooks back there. When you want to drive this chair, um, this is a front wheel drive, so this is your turning radius. Okay. And if you charge this chair, you take your charger, and you're probably very familiar with my videos, plug this over here, as soon as the light turns green, you're fully charged. So you don't have to worry about overcharging your chair. The charger will start charging automatically. So, if you're looking for, well, let me say one more thing. If this is the chair you want, and the seat is too deep, but we need, we need to do some, make it a little bit smaller, just let us know, we'll be glad to work with you on that. Uh, but this right now, this is a Permobil C300 front wheel drive with the 8 inch seat lift electric tilt, electric recline, electric legs, 20 by 22 inch deep seat, gel arm, swing away joystick, 
grab bars, uh, many other features that are great with this chair with only seven miles. Uh, if this is the type of chair you're looking for, Permobil is the top of the line in power chairs. It does have two batteries, which I forgot to mention. They're Group 34 60 amp batteries. There's one in the front and there's one in the back. They come out, one from the front, one from the back, so you have to take the chair apart. You have to have the seat elevated. These batteries will give you about 13 miles on a battery charge, depending where you're driving. It all depends on the weight of the user, the surface you're on, okay? But if you want the top in class, the top in, um, the top quality power chairs in the United States, these permobiles are pretty much right there at the top. And they're, this one's ready to go. This chair is so smooth, I can't even hear the chair. Um, it's 100% quiet, so it's a really, really quiet chair. Runs like brand spanking new, what should. It only has seven miles. Uh, the noise you heard over there, the clicking noise, that was the foot plate hitting the concrete. They're a little too low right now. As I said, it's set up for six foot two. They should be up a little bit higher, so we'll raise them up. Uh, but if you're looking for a chair that's very smooth, and that grass over there is really rough, the one I just came through, and they went through it, it's bouncy, but it's really rough grass. Uh, so it had no problem in the grass because of the front wheel drive, it's got real good traction. So this chair, as I said, it's a beauty and it's ready to go. This is Mark with Mark's Mobility. We are a family owned business for over 20 years. Thank you for watching this presentation. We have several other models available. If you have any questions, please call the number below, 800. 677-6293. Thank you again for watching.